Jack Jack, a jack of all trades, if you will. There's a Napa Valley. Valley got... de Napa. I cook this pack. Some of these nervous, angles sometimes. So Me too. We need to do a little retake or something. Just definitely, we're not doing no retakes we're because it's all content. Shout out to. Shout out to Jack Jack Segura for bringing the cowboy vibes in the house, baby. Let's go. Yeehaw. Thank you. Thank you. Giddy up, partner. <laughs> don't, Yeehaw, partner. Don't get it. Don't get it. Yeehaw. <laughs> Yeehaw. Yeehaw, as they say. Yeah, man, it's also like podcast, most authentic, most organic podcast out here. One more time, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're joined in. Shout out to my guy Pepe here for hey. acompañándome en este, este episodio que va a chingón. Can't let you do it by yourself. Yeah, you can. You can. I'm, yeah. I hate being alone. <laughs> Point blank, I hate being alone. Yeah, you you know that's already. We've seen it. We've seen you it. know this already. But we're joined in by a businesswoman, an influencer, a wine girl, a cowboy girl, Miss Jacqueline Segura, baby. Let's hey. go. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You know, I gotta, gotta make sure. A little snap. A little snap. You, know, a little, a little you have to. If you will. We can't make shit up, bro. This literally just got done within a couple of hours. <laughs> and honestly, it's a, I feel like I'm looking like a jackass with glasses on right now. I'm digging them. I don't know. It's the my, vibes. My eyes are... My eyes are the like, vibes, huh? Right. She said my eyes are ugly. Just put them right back on. No, pues yo también. Just put them right point. back on. He said, actually. 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 No, nah, 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 but thank you. Thank you for literally just acomodando to your busy schedule just to come and sit down with us on this lovely Saturday afternoon in downtown LA. That you may get towed, you may get robbed. <laughs> Please don't bring that up. It's too soon. It's okay. A toast to life. We'll cover that time. It's that too tow? soon. Hey. <laughs> Who's that? It's okay. We got the credit card. They got, they got funds. They got they funds. Got they, got funds. they got funds. They got funds. They okay. It's a yeah. write off, right? It's a write off. That's right. It's a write off. It's a write off. You already know. Hey. See, for the you know, you know. Hey. You're you're a businesswoman. I am. You got your business shop segura. Yes. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Please tell the people what it is. How it got inspired, just to kind of <laughs> give us a little background too, because she's styling. She always is. She's styling. She's always styling. She makes a presence in the room wherever she goes. Thank you. Thank you so much for that beautiful intro. I okay. So a little bit on Shop Segura. Um, Shop Segura was always a just dream of mine that I had, and honestly, it started in COVID. So I began it in 2020. Okay. It is a women's online clothing brand. So we sell a little bit of everything, you know, everyday um, clothing, a little bit of Western chic to it as well. But it's really um, my style. And I just always wanted to kind of do something that was my own. And the name Shop Segura actually comes from my last name, Segura. Yeah. So wow. I wanted to create a brand that helped women just shop a little bit more confidently. I feel like a lot of times, you know, you're shopping online and you're like, is this going to be good? Is this going to be, you know, what am I getting? Yeah. I wanted to, to make something that you knew you were getting quality when you're buying it. So okay. Shop Segura oh. is kind of hence the name behind the brand and just. But if it's Segura, if it's, secure, if it's the, secure, safely. The, <laughs> hey. the, one, the last name is just. It's, it's, it's on brand. It is. It's very on brand. The last name, it is what it is, Biddle. So who's your target audience? Who's your demographic? Because we just launched merch ourselves. I saw. Right? So who is your target audience? Who is your customer? I would say women between the ages of, you know, 18 to probably 35. Women who have a little bit of more of a funky style, who like a little bit of a Western chic, but classic, timeless pieces that they can build our closet with and honestly who just like to play a little dress up every once in a while so you know we got it flaunt it are you hey. the the oldest in your family the youngest the middle I child am. i am the oldest of eight damn that's right <laughs> that's you right. The damn that's crazy i'm the oldest but i'm also the shortest so uh, it, 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 that's how it turned out um i was gonna ask how it felt to growing up but you kind of yeah. missed that part <laughs> <laughs> No, so I'm the oldest of eight. I have five brothers and two sisters. Wow. And um, 
I'm the oldest. It's great. I think um, I'm the first testing out a lot of things. I'm the first one to move out here to L.A., like out of our home. So I'm the first to do a lot of things. But, you know, I, I try my best. I try my best to set a good example. But let me just say that with eight siblings, like it's never a dull moment. Ever. Ever. Why is that? Is it just all different personalities? <laughs> personalities, is- different, you know, just everything. There's different energies. There's different hobbies. There's different. So there's always something going on. Yeah. How many siblings do you have? I have two other ones, so three total. Okay. So I got my older sister who is, sorry, Jackie, for putting this, but 32, 31 or so. Okay. And then my little sister who's about to turn 11. Ooh. Yeah, so I'm the middle child uh, sitting at 28, but I'm the only boy. Okay. Um, I think you're the. It's just me and my sister. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So okay. when we fought, it kind of sucked because it was like. You're mad at me? All right, cool. I got no one to talk to. <laughs> that sucked growing up. So, but was your siblings were they your best friends too, or was it like because it the originalmente your parents are on the son? Okay, so my I have let's backtrack. I have eight siblings. My parents are divorced, so okay. um, some of them are half. But I like to consider they're all they're just still like, siblings. They're still siblings, siblings, you know. Yeah. So, the love is but there. genetically. They're, some of them are half. Okay. Um, so my parents son de Mexico. My dad is from Zacatecas, from Jerez, yeah. Zacatecas. And my mom is from Michoacán. Okay. Yes. Hey, what's up? Paisano. Paisano. Oh, no. So, yes, yo fui nacida aquí. Wait, can I? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Okay, okay. Todo dale como tú quieras. Whatever's natural. Todo dale como tú quieras. ¿Puedo hablar okay. español? So half Zacatecas, half Michoacán. Okay. And my family is from Northern California, from Napa Valley. So oh, that's uh, kind of how we all ended up here. Bit, yeah. But yes, I would say my Mexican roots have a huge impact yeah. and you know influence on everything that I do. So de de qué parte de Michoacán? De El Fuerte. It's a tiny little ranch next to Churincio, close to Zamora. On the map, just to on kind of map. place it out there. And so. we're yeah. also from a little ranch, yeah. not too far from, from Zamora. Zamora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think, yeah, we, we touched on it last We mentioned it, yeah, time. we touched on it, yeah. We touched on it, yeah, so. Wow, small world so. Or whatever. First, <laughs> oldest, a businesswoman, out here in L.A., thriving. <laughs> stop it. So, <laughs> She's like, stop it, or keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> you know, social media, social media sees you with your daily routine, your energy, your outfits, your inspiration, and if people are lucky enough to meet you in person, you're just that also. You come with that energy that everybody yeah. wants around them, right? Like how we it's talked true. about. It's like walk in and it's not like, damn, I wonder what we're going to get today. No, it's like, no, we're getting everything today. You're getting Jack Jack. Yeah. <laughs> Jack Jack's everywhere. Jack Jack. You know, hey. it's, it's funny because like my name is Jacqueline, but everybody knows me as Jack Jack. So here today, I'm Jack Jack. It's a character. It's a character. Hey, no. She showed up, huh? Yeah, she did. Uh, hey. She always does. <laughs> Your energy. Where does this come from? Where does this happy? Where does I this? I get that question a lot. Yeah. I really do. I really do. Because um, it's intriguing. It's it's one of those things where it could be hated upon. Why is she so happy? Why is she so energetic? But it could come from an area that I may not be happy with myself. So your light may be too bright for some people. But there might be some people's light who's too dim that's looking for how can I get my light to be just like her, especially women that are, you know, they're they're tough. They they will not say a lot of things that they go through (laughs) because they don't want to be judged. They don't want to look down upon. They don't want to be criticized. But Jack Jack doesn't (laughs) give a fuck. She brings the energy. (laughs) And have you always been that way? Yeah, I think so. Actually, yes, I have. I have always been that way. See, that's beautiful. I always have been. But, you know, I think growing up, you kind of just, you kind of mold into who you are. And at the beginning, you're kind of like, oh, you know, is this, people kind of judge you for it. You know, growing up, when you're in high school, when you're in your early 20s. Um, But now that I'm 30, I'm kind of have a more, you know, solid foundation of who I am. I know who I am. Um, The energy... Honestly, comes from me. 
I would say it's like a mental decision because at the end of the day, like I am my biggest, <laughs> what? <laughs> there was a quote that we said, we heard, it, we heard it on Wednesday and the guy was like trying to be super inspirational with the shot to him, man. But he was like, at the end of the day, the day ends. Oh my God. <laughs> we're like, we're like, at the end wow. of the day, what it all comes down to is the bottom line. Have you guys heard that one? <laughs> <laughs> it's like this iconic TikTok no way. sound. She's a TikToker. She's, She's a, a TikToker, TikToker too. TikToker. Can't relate. Sorry, I'll speak a little. I'm not a TikToker. TikTok you know what I'm saying? Okay, no, but honestly, honestly, at, like, because at the end of the day, I'm like, okay. <laughs> I can't say that normal. At the end of the day. Okay. okay. Al final del día. El día termina. A fin de cuentas. A fin de cuentas. Hijo de su madre. <laughs> <laughs> trigger <laughs> but honestly like it doesn't matter what the people around me do I carry my own energy so if I if I'm having a bad day and like I mentally note to myself like no you're you're that can I cuss on here yeah okay okay, like, okay I'm available. like you're that bitch like if you, if I have a bad day and I start beating myself up like mentally yeah. I'm gonna have a bad day so sometimes I have to fake it till I make it. And I'm like, no, you're that bitch. Like, you're having a good yourself. day. And I have to remind myself. And that just kind of elevates me a little bit yeah. on my attitude, on my personality. And I think it's contagious to everybody else around me. Um, so it really is just like a mental thing. Because that is, así me paso mis días mejor. You know what I mean? Of course. So it really, you just got to... Do you like feel like yourself. sometimes your energy is maybe too much for some people? <sighs> and if you do realize that it may be too much, how do you maneuver? I feel like I'm pretty good at reading people yeah. and trying to see. Because, like, honestly, I don't want to overwhelm anybody that's, like, around me. I just want them to know that it's, like, a safe space. Like, whatever you're feeling, however your energy is, like, yeah. I can match it. Um, sometimes, depending on the time and place, like, you know, we outside. We're, we outside and we're outside. We outside. We outside. We outside. Yeah. We outside and we're have you know, energies up like this, this, and that. But if I'm having like a moment to moment, it's like okay, I'm locked in. Yeah. Like I'm listening to you. What do you need from me to help you? Does that answer yeah, you your know. kind of question? No, most definitely because I think that that's just what everybody searches for. Just a answer. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be well spoken. But all they're doing is looking for an answer and they're reaching. I'm going through something very tough in my life right now. So I'm reaching for an answer and I just got to hear it from somebody, right? Like you don't know if we're going through anything in our life, mm -hmm. but when we meet and we come together, I know you expect me to come with the right energy and you expect me to show up same way. I expect you to show up, but I'm going to feed off that energy that you bring. And that's what we're like. We talked, it was, it was a no brainer in the morning when I'm like, all right, this didn't work out. I'm like, I know somebody. Stop. I was like, I know somebody. Yeah, Stop. he literally said, hey, we just locked her in. I'm like, yeah. who? Because we, we talked <laughs> about it, I think, like, like two weeks Jack ago. Jack. And I was like, yeah. hey, like, Should we get I think on we the should pod? get a Jack on, on, on the pod. It's like, her energy's great. Her energy's great. People would love her. So it's like, <laughs> hey, let's do it. Yeah, so Thank it, you. it was, it, it's a no-brainer because how we, what, how we always say is like, I know how great you are in person and how we can carry a conversation. I need the world to see this. Because once the world sees how great you are, it's over. You know what I mean? Because I can't gatekeep. These, I love my friends. I love my, my team. I want the world to see how great they are. Because there needs to be more of them out there. You know what I mean? And we get inspired. I get inspired by everybody around me to be better, to, to lead in a, in a better, with better practices. For you, who inspires you every day to be better, be the best version of yourself? Good question. We come this with is it, a really good it. question. I mean, it. a toast to that. A toast to that. A toast to yeah, that. Yep. She's like, hey, I, let me take a sip. <laughs> Processor processing ahorita. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I know the typical answer to this is like my family, my mom, my sister, my, you know, best friend or whatever. But this might sound a little... I don't know how it's gonna sound but like honestly i am my motivation okay <laughs> and let me let me expand on that because it's like a fin de cuentas 
everything I do like affects me. Like if I don't see it through, like it's going to affect me at the end of the day. Like I don't expect anyone to carry me out or to inspire me. Cause like, yes, I have like inspirational people, people once in a while, but at the end of the day, if I don't act upon it, it's not going to happen. It has to yeah. happen like from me internally, mentally, you can want something so bad, but if you, if you mentally like don't prepare yourself or if you don't do it, yeah. that comes from within it's not going to happen. So like, I just try to be the best version of myself. I have all these great dreams and aspirations, but like, I know none of that is going to happen if I don't have it locked in with myself. Do you feel you like you, I mean? you owe yourself? You owe it to yourself? At least. I mean, I'm, I feel like I have nothing to lose. Like I'm like, I, I would rather live knowing that I tried than living with regret. Of course. And, and I think that's that's it. There that's we go. It. That's a wrap. That's a cabo. That's a cabo. It's out. It's so true. At the end I, of the day, the day. <laughs> at the end of the day, no, but it's so true because, like, I think um, a, a, one of a girl I know t told me that one time because I was experimenting things with my business. Okay. Um, the la we've been in business for Shop Segura the last three years. Okay. And we're actually undergoing like a rebrand right now, where I'm going to do more of a Western style. Um, approach mm -hmm. and i was really unsure i was like i don't know if i you know i don't know if this is gonna work because in business it's risky yeah. you know that. everything's a risk yeah. everything's yeah. a risk one little move one little change exactly and um she will go she goes oh well you know you're gonna live like like you why not try it get the pierdes yeah of you course. might as well just try it and know that it didn't work then live with what if Worst case scenario, you go back to what was exactly, working, right? Exactly, exactly. And that's like my approach on just life in general. That little like, yeah. that little two seconds that she told me that, I was like, oh, oh what? Makes sense. You're onto something. What about in situations where you don't get that certain thing that you wanted? Yeah. When you get the when you get the rejection. Absolutely, it happens. It happens. So how do you maneuver through rejection? Because that for a lot of us, it's something we're too afraid. Or we don't want to. Yeah, how do you and, deal with it? And we don't want to even start something because, oh, fuck, I'm so afraid that I really get, like, this week has been the most stressful ever because we dropped. And I'm like, damn, what if nobody buys, dog? Or what if only a couple people and, buy? And I said, I'm, I mean, his number was a little, was a little, he was reaching, right? I was reaching. And I told, stars? yeah, I was. <laughs> yeah, he was shooting for the stars. But it didn't, it didn't go as, as planned, right? But he still landed on the moon. I, That's I, what happens when I, you reach high. Yeah, I said right? this. I'm reaching for the stars, but wherever we land, I know that was meant for me. Absolutely. I'm not going to ask for anything more. I'm not going to ask for anything less. I was meant to get what we got, and that's it, because that's that's the foundation. We're just setting it down. Like, I can't ask for all this ex excess amount thinking, oh, yeah, I deserve that. Well, we're just starting. It's episode one. One more time. Drop one. Now we have a benchmark. Now we All we have can do something. the next yeah. time around is improve every single time. Drop yeah. two. Episode two did better than episode one. Yeah. Episode three better than two. And then yeah. so on and so on and so on. Because all we can do at the end of the day is just get better and improve. Yeah. Absolutely. And if we get, re if for whatever reason, it fails, like you said, now we get to talk from a place where we tried it. Yes. It just didn't work oh. out. So for you... How do you deal with rejection in life, in business, and just in general? I have a similar approach to that. I think that everything that's meant for you is meant for you. And no matter what you do, like, it's going to be for you. But um, the same, I, if I get rejected on something or something doesn't work out, I'm like, it wasn't for me. Like, it just wasn't for me. There's going to be another opportunity. There's going to be another time where it is for me. Because I've had that happen. Yeah. yeah. Like, in, in business, you guys know, like, it's rough out yeah. here. It's tough. It's, it's a little it's tough. hard. Yeah, what, what is that saying? People will see the 10 seconds of fame, but don't, doesn't they don't know that 1, you took three, uh, three years to get there. An yes. overnight success was three years in the making. And that's exactly what this was. We... They see us now, and I'm glad you see me. I'm getting, like, I wanted to be seen. But, damn, I went through the mud just to get here first. And it's okay because I didn't understand for a long time. I didn't want rejection. I didn't want failure. If there was a failure in somewhere, I felt like I was a failure. And, again, it's just trifecta. Yeah. To realizing it's like, no, it's all good. 
I I completely am with you on on that. Um, but as far as rejection, like I said, I'm like, okay, well, this wasn't for me. But it's so funny because like once you kind of come out of that rejection, yeah. you learn so many things That's- from that rejection or from something that didn't work out and you're like okay well this is what i need to fix this is how i'm gonna do it next time yeah. and honestly i think it builds a little character it builds everything's, a little character everything's it's a learning experience need. right yeah. every failure absolutely it's just and another then, lesson <laughs> just to like calm my ego i'm like it's not even that serious like i didn't even want it to work out that it's way it's not i didn't even want it like it, it's <laughs> not that serious so that's just kind of like, like, like i got and my mental, my no mental que <laughs> <laughs> and then I walk away and then I'm like, all right, like, Damn, like but I really did want it. Chale. Damn, you guys are bringing trauma to all the guys that go up to girls at the bar and they get rejected. Like, hey, do you want a drink? No, I was you know what? Asking. If you don't go up to them, you can't be rejected. Just saying, that's right, that's right, my boy. That's right, that's, that's right. right. Cheers, Hell yeah. Cheers. Cheers. that's right. Cheers. <laughs> the more you fuck around, the more you find out. <laughs> Life lesson. Life, Life lesson. Lessons. Fuck around and find out. She actually, uh, <laughs> Becca had a shirt. Really? I said, fuck around and find out. Do you get rejected out. a lot? No. Oh. Because you never asked. Because I never asked. <laughs> <laughs> I got somebody waiting. Oh, my God. Mm. I, feel like, I feel like I'm nice at the bar. Like, I, I Are you one of those that you will feel bad for saying no? I feel like everyone is human and they deserve an... <laughs> in, like... I'm not going to be like, if somebody comes up to me, I'm not going to, unless they're really creepy, Okay. you know, okay. unless they're giving very creeper right. vibes. What's the worst approach that a guy can take at a bar? She's dying. She's dying. You, you've experienced it. <laughs> she has, she for has. sure. She's like, shit, I got stories for days. You know? Esto es otro episodio on its own. <laughs> Look, it just happened. It just happened. No, it didn't. I'm just, I'm just replaying the scene in my, in my mind where I was like, mom can pick me up. <laughs> like, I'm scared. Uh, Amma. Amma. No, it was just like, I mean, I was at this place and this guy, but he <laughs> came in with like the swag and he was like, hey, little mama, what's up? Uh, but he said he it like that was... and I was just like, <laughs> what's up? But mama? I was like, dude, like, do not. And he was like, so what's up? Where you from? Like, where you at? And I was but talking to me like that and I was like, oh my God. You're serious. Can you're I get your number? Dead ass serious. You're serious. And that it was just like cringy. It was just cringy, you know. So he didn't get the number. No. <laughs> Did you get a drink though? No. That's in uh, those cases. Uh, like, in those cases, I rather, was like, you know what? If sir? it's free, it's for me. I can't. <laughs> She'd rather not take the drink. I'd just not. It's like I'm not trying to owe you anything. I'd rather I'm not just owe you a not. dance. No. <laughs> what but is I that? Feel... Will you have this dance with me, little lady? <laughs> Lo, no, it was little mama. <laughs> little mama. <laughs> If you would have said little lady, maybe things would have been different. Hey, partner, you want a drink? You said it. She would have said, Hi, hell partner. yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Is it? Yeehaw. Yeehaw. <laughs> Whoa. Damn. <laughs> I, you got too hard. He's a little hot. You hung a little hey, too hard. Hey, I, yeehaw. That's All right. Like yeehaw so what is, what is the best way to approach a girl at a bar? A girl at the Hold bar. Hold up. Let me take yeah. notes. Espérate. Why would you need to take notes if you got somebody? What if I want somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> She you never have too many so options. Shit. I mean, what if it don't work out? Oh, God. It's just, it's always like approaching at the bar is always just kind of like, you're at the bar. Like, I think there's like a stigma yeah. with pe- approaching people at the bar. Oh, yeah. So, but for me, it's like, don't come off too, like, don't bomb me. Just kind of like casually come into the conversation. You're chill. I'm chill. Okay. okay. Do not come up with that damn you looking fine or none of that shit you know like just just it's very just casually be you. Hey. just be casual yeah. just be you is anybody sitting here is anybody sitting here what's going on like just, i like your shoes just, just chill right, cool. just chill <laughs> just chill my guy it's not that serious i like pepe's approach <laughs> if you don't ask you never get the night <laughs> you can't be rejected if you don't ask i don't know i haven't really had any good um bar approaches so I'm not your girl to it's like to wrong say demographic. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm not the one. I think it's just like um, the misunderstanding for a lot of guys is like if they come with all that riz that they got, that I'ma get anybody I want. It's like, well, if she has she respects herself, has standards, and she carries herself in a certain way, that riz that you got ain't working. The riz ain't risen. The riz- 
<laughs> the Riz ain't risen. All the right. Riz ain't risen. Yeah, but I think like picking up at a bar, it's like, yeah, it's very cliche to be honest. It's like, how about you meet someone regular? Yeah. Or, yeah. No, I feel like I, I personally don't go to the bar to meet people. Like I go to have fun. Exactly. I go with my girls. Like we're vibing. We're having a good time. If I'm looking for somebody, like I'm not gonna go to the bar, but I'm gonna live my best life. She's gonna go to Whole Foods. That's right. Or I Target. Might go to Whole Foods. Air One. Air One. Oh, oh, Air One's where it's at. Just saying. Those twenty dollars no. smoothies. You see somebody get one of those. I'll be going to Vallarta. All right, yeah. Northgate. Okay. Little yeah. vaquero, little vaquero, so, hey, no sponsor us, no por favor. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta stay true to your roots. As we always do. As we always do. Ten toes on the ground. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Unless you got nine, my right? My heads up. <laughs> Honestly, hey. that guy just threw me out. He's like, I tend to he said it with such Dude. like, such he like was a, so deep. I know. He's like, hey, he was so confident. At the end of the day, remember, at the end of the day, the day ends. And we're like, yeah. yo, oh, oh, it's cause, so cool. it yeah, it's because yeah. we were leaving. I was like, yo, it was nice to meet you, bro. I was like, I fuck with your code. If it's free, it's for me. And he was like, hell yeah. At the end of the day, the day ends. I'm like, hold up. I'm just he like, said, that's so deep. Period. <laughs> no, like, like, period. That's so deep. <laughs> but um, your community. My community. We're all... We're built because of our people around us. We're very influenced by the circle that we have. What does your support system look like? What does your community look like? Oh, my God. My community is my, like my world. I feel like I, I wouldn't be doing what I do today because of without them. Um, physically, they're not close. Some of them are. Some of them aren't. So originally, I'm from Northern California. Okay. So I'm here in L.A. And when I came to L.A., I came by myself. I just kind of was like, mm, fuck around and find out. And what I said, made you though? Huh? What what made you take that leap? Um, honestly, kind of goes back to like I just didn't want to live with the regret of not knowing what it felt like. So I literally just took a chance, and I was just like, you know what? If worse comes to worse, I, I will go back. Yeah. Like if LA's not for me, I'll go back. I have a good support system in NorCal, so I yeah. said. What's the worst that can happen? I don't like it, and I go back. You're like, hey, period. It's cool. It's like I've been here before. I've been here before, and so um, my support system is a group of family and friends. Um, I'm at the point now in my life where, like, I can say I've had friends for like ten years, and I feel like people are always scared to be into their come into their thirties, and they're like, oh my god, like. I'm so old, but you get to a point where you're like, you've built these friendships that you know are solid and like, they're not going anywhere. They're yeah. like for lifers. And so really it's a group of, it's a mix of family, friends, my girlfriends. I feel like having a good close group of, of girlfriends is vital. Yeah. But um, yeah, it just comes from a little bit of everywhere. I've met people along the way. Yeah different people for different things you know you have a different friend groups for everything yeah most definitely i think there is a core group but because of the way we are we have other friends that are just like for the other areas of our life right like i have my white boy friends that are all in glamis right now and riding <laughs> then i got my homies that are ready to go and party and be up to no good and then I got my wholesome people that are, like, checking in on me and, like, hey, how are you? Are you good? Are you okay? What do you need? I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah. Don't, but but we're also willing to go have a fun time, just saying. Yeah. Absolutely. It's all about balance. it. Balance. It's all about Absolutely. balance. Absolutely. I think, I think you need a little bit of everything. Yeah, for sure. In, in those categories to, like, balance you because, yes, like, work hard and, you know, do what you need to do, but also yeah. have a little fun. The, what they all have in common is they're very giving and they're very selfless. Mm -hmm. They're not afraid to put put them in the back burner for you to go forward. And that's what I love about my, my friends, that they all don't need to help and they all don't need to be so nice and kind or loving, but yet they choose to. Absolutely. So now it's like, hey, I owe you. You were this to me when you didn't need to. No one needed to. Yeah, you showed me this love and embracement. I got you. 100%. 
si tenemos, si tú tienes 10, yo tengo 10, tenemos 20. Uh -huh. Right? I think that's what it is. Like, if you, got, if you got 10, I got 10, we got $20. What are we going to go do? Absolutely. You hungry? You don't got, I got you. Don't worry about it. Or is that like uh, asking you to go eat? Like, oh, I don't have money. I didn't ask you. I didn't ask you. I didn't, for I money. didn't ask you if you're hungry. <laughs> I just asked you if you're you hungry. Down? Yeah. <laughs> and it's just that. Like, I know at one point you'll have it. And when I need it, you'll give it. You know what I mean? And it's not like, I'm not giving it to you for you to come and give it back. No, no, no. Cuando se puede, se puede. Y si no, pues, está bien. Tu amistad vale más. La amistad vale más que el dinero. Absolutely. 1,000%. 1,000%. And I feel like now, um, my community, some I've known for 10 plus years, some I've known for a year, yeah. or two years. Yeah. But now, time doesn't really define my relationship with them. It's, it's true. It's different qualities yes. that I can pick up so, in, you know, yeah, it's LA. This is LA. I know, I know, I know. I somebody like, that you've known for a week can care more about you than someone you've known your whole life. And that's the thing. Like, I used to think, like, oh, this person's been in my life for 10, 15 years. Like, they're for lifers. That's you not thought, always the case. You thought, though. It's not. And yeah. you wanted to, you wanted them to stick around. I, I wanted to keep that image of you being in my life forever because that's what you know. Because you grew up with them, because you you're comfortable went through around so them. many things through yeah. them, you're comfortable. <laughs> At my age now, I'm like, the reality is like, I don't need to know you for years and years and years for you to be a, a life a for lifer. Yeah. Like exactly, they all have certain characteristics in common that that whether it be ten years, whether it be one year, you know that time doesn't define anything. So are you you? Have you gotten good at letting go? In what aspect? Like everything. In just friendships, relationships, 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 anything life. that doesn't serve you. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yes, I have. But it's not easy. It's something that I still like struggle with because yeah. it's letting go is, is hard. It is. It's really hard. And I think it's mental more than anything. But um, whatever time it takes to let go of whatever I need to let go um I think yeah I have because I'm like at the end of the day I don't like <laughs> <laughs> trigger. Trigger. triggered I'm sorry okay. I'm sorry it's just okay a fin de cuentas a fin de cuentas if I don't let go it's gonna bring my energy down and I'm not gonna like the way yeah. I feel yeah and I just am not gonna like the way I move so for my own good I have to let it go yeah so what about you? You asked her the question. Have you gotten good at letting go? Oh, I think I've gotten, I mastered it. Yeah? Yeah. I, I still give people benefit of the doubt. Like, I want to keep you around mm -hmm. because how we said, like, I grew up with you. I went through certain things with you and I want you to be around me because I know we deserve the next level of this. Right. But if you're just not serving me in my life by giving me just the right energy, peace, or even like, encourage me to make better decisions in some sort of way or inspire me, then how can I keep you around? Like this world is about leveling up every single day. What'd you do today that leveled you up? That was productive. That set you up for tomorrow. And luckily the people that I have around me, they all move in a certain way where I'm like, Oh, they're working in their own areas. I got to get a letting go because I figured out that me holding on to them was slowing me down. I'm sorry. I love you. I'll always have love for you, but I have to go. You notice the difference in yourself when you're surrounded by, like, a certain energy? Yeah. Um, versus a, a different kind of energy. Yeah. Like, you're, I feel like you're more productive. You're more motivated. Yeah. If you're not, motiva if you're not motivated by the people around you, you got to switch your friends. Switch your circle. Yeah. Everybody around me, I'm motivated by them to be better, to do better, and to do better for myself. So when we come and sit at the table all together, I got something to offer. I don't come in and it's just like my plate, like a potluck. I'm not coming in just to get serve myself the plate and leave. And I'm coming in and I'm bringing el pinche pavo, el pinche pollo, lo que sea. Like I'm bringing something to but the I'm table. But I'm bringing something like to the table. I'm bringing something to the table. Llevar. Pa llevar. <laughs> si tú quieres, tú quieres. <laughs> so, but I'm maybe like you guys, I'm very giving. So I'll give everything that I have, whatever it is. And if it comes back, in some sort of way, great. And if it doesn't, 
Yo hice lo que yeah, hice. Ya sé, hice How do you feel about being so giving? Because there's some people that like to take advantage of you. Has that ever happened you to gotta, you? You got to recognize like, it. Especially here, now that you've moved to LA. I know. Do you think that's happened to you? I feel like I get... I hear that message from a lot of people. That it's like, be careful. They're going to take advantage of you. I think it's tricky, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. here, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I try not to come across situations like that. But um, I guess, yeah, there has been situations where you've been taken advantage of. And again, it, I just kind of take it like as a learning block. And I'm okay. like, all right, I'm not doing that again. Yeah, like you, you, know? you showed me every reason to not do it. Absolutely. Perfect. It, it's also built yeah. a little character to myself, you yeah. know. I feel like. I mean, we said it before, right? Like, don't don't change who you are, just change who you're good to. You're a loving person. We're giving people. Yeah. Don't ever jeopardize that because that person didn't know how to treat you and care for you and, and embrace that. It was their loss. Now, once you move on and you leave, what are they going to do? They're going to try to search for someone that was giving them what you gave them. But now it's coming in a whole other way or not even there no more. So that's where it comes with the whole, oh, man, it's been a while. You know, I miss your I miss energy. You. I, miss the, you. I miss you. I miss you. You know, bro, we used to have so much good. Yeah, we have. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I miss you did. too, but I don't miss you taking advantage of me. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't miss you that much. Uh, you ain't coming I, back. I, I be, said I miss you, but yeah. I miss I, you, but not I, that much. I believe in the if they did it once, they'll do it again. Absolutely. Thousand percent. And if, and if they do. do if they don't do it in that same way, they got so good to to now do it in a whole nother way, just to keep getting one by you. Oh my god. Hey, bro, I'm so sorry for taking advantage of you. I won't do it again. But I'm going to do it in this side. <laughs> now what? You mean, the worst part is it's like you want them back. And yeah. they've a lot of the times it's like those people that take advantage of you are the ones that you want in your life. Yeah. Oh, like, so bro, nice. like, why are you doing this? Like, I want you here. I really wanted you. And you let it slide so many times, even though you see it. But. I forgot. Like, you have like to cagaste. believe them the first time when they show you when they really who are? they really are. Yeah. And I used to hear that quote, like, constantly. And I was like. What? what does that what even mean? Well, like, I don't even know what that means until I found out what it meant. And I was like, oh. I should have listened the first time. I should have listened the first time. I should have listened. But it's so true. So now, like, with any relationships or just friendships that I, you know, encounter, yeah. Yeah. I try to practice that. Because I'm like, la gente no va a cambiar. Si no quieren cambiar, like, you know, you guys, you have to decide whether you're going to take them as they are yeah. or or not. Yeah. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna Got give him. you, I'm gonna give you the opportunity. Yeah. If you show me otherwise, that was your fault. That's I'm your mine. fault. That's not mine. You know, well, how does it go? It goes, shame. Ah, uh, fool, fool me, me once, once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yes, that's fool. that's like. There ain't gonna be, be a, a third, third time. time. That's, maybe, yeah. maybe, once, <laughs> just depending on, on the you. day, just depending on the day. You okay? Who's got? Who's got? If, Who's if, food I, more if, than twice? if I keep coming to Kanya and drinking a Borico with tequila, I may just answer a call every now and then. <laughs> it's because you miss them. ¿Y qué tiene? It's okay. ¿Y qué tiene? It'd be like, That's hey, good. I miss you all. You want to hang out? No. Just wanted to tell you I missed you. Any Where you at, though? 11 PM, Where you at, though? <laughs> Anything you do after 11 Anything PM after, doesn't count. I would say 1030. Yeah. It wasn't that, wasn't me. It wasn't me. that wasn't me. It wasn't me. That wasn't me. It wasn't me. No? But, huh? ¿Quién, ¿Quién fue? ¿Quién fue? Yo no sé. Exactly. Yo no me Yo acuerdo. Si no me acuerdo, no pasó. That's it. All right. So because you are a businesswoman, you are very confident in yourself. You carry yourself to a standard that could be scary for a lot of people that are just not at that level yet. How do you make space for love? Ooh. <laughs> or do you even? Do I? Um. Yeehaw. Yeehaw, partner. <laughs> Yeehaw. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, a question I wasn't expecting. But for love, okay, I'm a single girl right now. I, I don't, I'm not in a relationship. I'm just kind of living my best life right now. So, but I think there is space for love. I mean, se siente bonito. Se siente bonito. I'm not opposed to it, but I feel like it just has to fit right. It just has to fit right. Like, I'm not going to settle for something 
that I don't want that doesn't align with me. I wouldn't say I'm super picky. But I'm a little picky. But, but others might say otherwise. No, <laughs> but I feel like I'm open and receptive to anything that's for me. Like we said earlier. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I just feel like if it doesn't make me better, then I don't want it. What's, what's your definition of love now in this stage of your life? Love, I would say for me, it's it kind of goes with like, what, what is it called? The different languages of? Love languages? Love languages, yeah. yeah. I would say my love languages are quality time, um, like listening to me, somebody I can trust, somebody I feel safe with. But um, as long as you give me those things, I feel loved. Like, it's, it's really not that deep. Like, it's not that deep, but, you know. Do you think it, it, becomes a, it becomes a little tough because you are self-driven? To some, it to may some, be like, oh, she don't need no man. To some. But, but I feel like the right man wouldn't be intimidated by everything that I do. Like, a man... If you know, you know. A man. I guess that kind of goes back to like, what what do I look for? A man. A man wouldn't be intimidated by all the things that I do and everything that I say and everything that I post. Write this down. Write this down. I will write after. Don't even trip. (laughs) I'll listen to it on the podcast. I'll listen to it on the podcast. Yeah, Yeah. like if somebody's going to be intimidated by everything that I do, then... I don't want you like you're not for me. So now do you look, what do you look for in a partner? Do you want somebody that's just as driven as you? That's just as successful because you are right. Mm. So now when you get into a relationship, it's one of those things where it's like, are we equals? Do you expect that person to be at the level that you are in regards to success? Yes. Yes. Because I know what I bring to the table. Of course. That part. See that part. It's like, if, if we're going to make this work, like, I know what I bring to the table. There's no doubt in in what I can do and what we can do together. Yeah. But I need you to be on the same level, even if it's like a little delusional, you know, like even yeah. if our ideas are like yeah. crazy out there. But like, but it's if you're great and I great together, I'm we can, great. And if you're amazing, great, you know what I mean? Like, it's one of those. Baby. I don't need you, but I want you. I, exactly. You don't. God damn. That's it. Con eso nos vamos. Con eso nos vamos. Con eso nos vamos. That's what it is. I think that's what, at least me, mm-hmm. that's what I'm looking for too. It's like, I don't want you. No, I don't need you, but I want I you. Want nah, you fucked it up. You fucked it up. <laughs> nah, it's just, again, now in the stage that we're in, everybody should be self sufficient. Everybody should want more for themselves, expect of more of themselves. And when they meet somebody, they got to go passive. The physical attractiveness. Can we hold a conversation? Can we have mental check-ins? Are we driven on our own and and inspired by each other? Yeah. Like I want to look at my partner and be inspired by them and be like, I'm gonna work harder so I can provide even more. Mm-hmm. You're good already, but me adding into the picture, we're gonna get to enter a life that you've never imagined. But again, I don't need you and you don't need me, but we want each other. We want to be a part of each other. That's all I need. 100%. And I think, like, to get to that point, you really need to, like, find yourself yeah. and be secure in who you are and what you are. You want, yeah. And um, that comes with, I think, being alone or being single for a little bit. Mm, because yeah. in my 20s, I was, like, in little relationships here and there. But oh, the last few years, I've really had time to focus on myself. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, I didn't even know this girl existed. Like, Look at me. Look at me. Like, yeah, I, I have like, no idea. So now, yeah. now I'm, like, very confident in who I am and what I am. And I'm like, I would have never had this if I would have, like, stuck around yeah. and settled for something or por la costumbre yeah. or anything and like you that. You got to look at where you're putting that energy in. Yeah. I'm not going to go and give my energy to this person knowing it's not going nowhere. Knowing that I'm going to spend my time, my energy, my money – and I'm going to invest into something that, where is it going to go? We don't want to even align in what we do, right? Like, you're busy. I'm busy. This is already an issue. What are we going to expect? And that's why it's like, before we keep going, 
what do you want in life? What do I want in life? Does it align? Cool. And if it doesn't, it's cool. Y no pasa nada. No pasa, no pasa nada. nada. A well, transparency is key, pero no, no pasa that's the thing. A veces lloro, no, pero veces nada sí más. Pasa, pero no pasa nada. Hey. <laughs> que hago suicidad, eh? Hey, 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 hey. hey que hago suicidad, hey. I live for Spanish TikTok. <laughs> it's, it's the best. Los TikToks en español are just, they have their own world out there. Tienen su propio chiste. Oh, su carácter me, me encantan los podcasts en español y los shows sí. tienen un what's that there's like two popular guys on I, creo que son de la Ciudad de México they have a live show and in every live show they're the guests are able to write like some yo vine y tengo esa situación and they'll read it throughout the, so one of them was like uh, vine con mi pareja que me está engañando y lo, y lo quiero poner allá afuera that's crazy. These, these Mexican shows, these Spanish shows, Come on. really off, really unhinged. Also, this is censura, you know? I think it was a little character. What's uh, Operation Repo? That's a little razzle dazzle, a little spice. <laughs> You're about to come out in Operation Repo. <laughs> Dude, don't remind. <laughs> oh, oh, she jumped on the car. No! Shit. Hey, show. but you know what? It was the night we all met, right? That's so it right. was something good came out of that That's crazy right. night. No, I literally told him because when, when we were inside, I was like, hey, let's take these shots to her over there. And he's like, who is that? I was like, yo, she's an influencer. She's very popular. Like, she's very driven. It's going to be a good relationship right there. <laughs> and un tequilita, pues no hace mal, ¿no? Hey, no hace mal. Hey. And then another one led to another one, and then <laughs> another one, and then another one, and then a car <laughs> getting towed. I don't know. People, throwing, you know people throwing up outside. I wouldn't have it any other way. Right? A toast. A toast. No, a toast yes, que that, pero. I would not. Por tanto pinche desmadre que me pasó esa noche, I wouldn't have it any other way. Now I have a story to tell. Hey, you got a story. She's like, shit, got, everything is content. Me. My kids will know this story. Content. I always got a story to tell. <laughs> what you want to know? We talked about a little earlier, now kind of really fast tr transitioning into like the business side. You're very consistent. You're very purposeful. You have an audience. You have a demographic. How big is consistency in your line of work? It is key. It's major key. I think it goes unnoticed a lot because it's like, oh, you can have one thing go viral. Oh, I made it. No, the whole consistency is key. Throughout my whole journey of social media, consistency has been the key some will do great and some won't but you just have to keep going and going and going and going and that's what i think has carried out in the biggest results so for a young a young woman that's about to endure this step of entrepreneurship what's that piece of advice that you like these are one this is one thing or three things that take in consideration when getting into business to a business I would say don't be afraid to try out anything that you want to test out business is a risky space you never know if it's si se va a pegar o no va a pegar entonces um, just, just try it if it doesn't work out what's the worst that can happen consistency over everything I think that um, it's just huge, and there's really not much emphasis to it. It's just stay consistent. You hear it over and over and over. Yeah. Like, just do it. And honestly, yeah, those two things. I mean, I would say if you want to test something, if you want to try something out, just do it. Just do it. You'll learn along the way. You'll learn what works, what doesn't, if you like it, if you don't. But the first thing is to, like, take off and start it. So now what's the difference between your personal brand and your clothing brand? How do you uh, choose what you post in each page? Or does your personal brand coincide with your... I think it coincides a little bit. Um, I will say, like, me as, as, a, as a person, you know, there's, there's a lot of flaws, there's a lot of imperfections, and I'm not afraid to, like, show that in anything that I do or post. Um, with a business, obviously, there's a lot of that, but, you know. It's a lot more just, tailoring. A little more tailored, I will say. Like, it's just business. But um, 
I think there's a there's a lot of things intertwined together. Yeah. But um, yeah, you just got to take a different approach. Nonetheless, with with everything that I do. Balazos. <laughs> Duck. <laughs> Duck. Balazos. Duck. Hey. <laughs> yeah. I was like. We oh, had said that earlier. Right. <laughs> I said it's downtown LA. Don't ask questions. Shit. Just duck. Just, just, just duck. duck. Keep it going. Don't flinch. Two for flinching. Um, what was I saying? Damn. I was traumatized. <laughs> it's a little triggering. Uh, yeah. But um. <laughs> <laughs> this ain't Texas. <laughs> Woo. We ain't hold them. Yeah. All right. Be- with a lot of people have difficulty posting right. because. They don't, they're afraid of either being not working, people judging, or oh, it's not interesting enough. So they don't post. They don't, they don't put themselves out there. You, you put yourself out there. You, you stay consistent. Post. You make your outfits, your runs, your daily life. Why, like this, what would it be like? How do you advice? deal with it? Yeah, how do you deal how with it? How do you deal shit? with it? How do I deal with? Posting every with day? posting and everything that comes with posting, because you had to come the from a place of the comments, yeah. the negative comments. Yeah, you had to come How from, do you deal with it? Because a lot of the people that we know don't post for that reason, right? Right. I hear that a lot. It's like, nah, it's good. People are gonna talk shit, or I'm not interesting enough. I'm not interesting, or I don't know what to post, or it's a little. Yeah. yeah. Wait, it's why my life. Why? It's <laughs> <getting> <laughs> my life. It's <laughs> my life is so boring. Oh, okay. 500 balazos. <laughs> Es que, es que my life is so boring. I just uh, work and go to school. No, it's true. Um, let me tell you, I, I have the same thoughts. Like, I don't think my life is that interesting. Like, I'm just a girl. I'm At just the end of a the girl. Day, I'm just a girl. Pero you'd be surprised how many, like, you might not think it's interesting, but other people might think it's interesting. It's that simple. Yeah. Like, People probably post things and I'll be able to grab something out of it, whether it's just like something plain, something simple, something not that serious. I'll get something out of it. You just never know. And honestly, I think como que te tiene que valer. Te tiene que valer. Like, it's just like I post because I like to post. I like to share what I'm doing, you know, Whatever. Sometimes it doesn't have a lot of meaning to it. It could be like a meal that I'm eating, you know? Yeah. It could be somewhere where I'm going, something a little more purposeful I want to share. But at the end of the day, like... <laughs> at, the end of the day, the at the end of the day, the day is going to end. No, but at the end of the day... That was sound, that sound a little close. Someone I'm serious. Home. I don't even know we're in the Fast and the Furious right now. They're probably filming, like, what, <laughs> movie 12? <laughs> I know. For real. Yeah. Wow. At the end of the day, tiene que valer. At the end, te tiene que valer. Like, you cannot be too pressed about what people think. Because if you think about, ay, que van a decir. If you think about other people's think. think about, <laughs> you, no, but, you like, can't it's think? true. Like, if you think about what they think. <laughs> then you think. Then you think. <laughs> Wow, we're so deep. We are so deep, dude. <laughs> dude, we're so smart. But it's so fucking true. <laughs> no, so have you always no, had that mentality, what, what's though? That one, what's that one from a, uh, Big Boy's Neighborhood? It was like, you know, sometimes you got to think about the things you don't want to think about. He's like, damn. He's like, what does that mean? I don't know. You know what? We might be shitting on these little phrases, but they're true. Like, they, they got some truth to them. So. <laughs> Triggered. Have you always had that mentality, though? Have you always said, ah, me vale? Or is that something that came with time? That came with time. When mm-hmm. I was younger, me, no, like, I would care about what people said and right? this, this, and that. But as I got older, I'm like, me vale madre. Al cabo, tú no me pagas los biles. Like, at the end of the day, I'm carrying myself Fuck. through this journey of mine. No me pagas ni un bill. No, nada. Like, Who's carrying my? Who's carrying this little girl? Me. Like, it's just. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you don't pay my bills, don't worry about it. You have don't no. Worry about it. Don't, don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry about, don't about, worry about, about a sweetheart. You don't. Don't worry about a sweetheart. But yeah, like you just. I think que te tiene que valer. Honestly, con todo el respeto, like te tiene que valer. 
Because yeah. if you think about too much of what people say, what people think, girl, you're it never holds gonna you back. It. You're never gonna do it. It yeah. holds you exactly. You're not gonna do it. You're exactly. Do it. Exactly. Exactly. You ain't gonna do it. <laughs> So te Shots tiene que valer. Fired. At the end of the day, te tiene que valer. At the end, the end of the day. The day, the day ends y te tiene que valer. That's right. <laughs> That's a sick ass quote. Run. Man, I think it's it's been a it's been an amazing podcast with Jack Jack. You know, different per, the we got the Jack Jack personality today. We got Jack Jack. Tom, Jack Jack always delivers. Tomorrow we might get the running Jack. <laughs> yeah. And then we might get the influencer Jacqueline. A jack of all trades is what she is. That's the title. Uh, title of the podcast. Shit. Jack, of, jack all of all trades. trades. Jack of all <laughs> trades. <laughs> Has there been a quote or a piece of advice that someone has gave you that was the worst piece of advice that you got? The worst. It? The worst. Oh, I thought you were going to say the best. Oh, no. Ahí vamos, para ahí vamos, para ahí vamos, para ahí vamos, para ahí vamos. Para ahí vamos. <laughs> the worst piece of advice? Let me go down memory lane. I think the worst piece of advice I I'm having like inspire me a little bit like what do you mean um like I, in gen, in like in relationships like ev- in anything anything like it could be oh don't don't aim so high because you can't reach it don't don't go and start a business because it's gonna fail be realistic be realistic I think the I think with with caution, it's kind of been like, be safe. Like, no hay eso ser eso because it's not safe. Yeah. And I mean, I'm not saying in a safety, physical way, like, be safe. Yeah. Day. Do whatever you need to do. But if you have an idea or if you have something, like, sometimes staying within the lines is Doesn't not going to cut it. Yeah. Sometimes like when it, you play small. Huh? Sometimes when you play small, you get small results. Exactly. Like, oh, bad, don't do this because, part. like, you're aiming to... You're aiming too high. You're, you're asking play, for too play, much. You're asking for too much. Like, be realistic with your dreams and expectations. Like, no, don't be, don't play it safe. Like, don't be delusional. Get a little crazy. Get a little crazy. Believe in yourself a little bit. Yeah, yeah. a little, a little yeah. razzle dazzle, dazzle <laughs> as I like to say. <laughs> All right, what has been the best piece of advice that you have gotten? The best piece of advice has been, you'll never know until you try. I think that has carried me out through and through with everything that I do. Just you don't know until you try it. And then once you have that experience of whatever you're doing, then you'll be able to speak on it. And then you'll be able to give a true, honest, genuine thought on whatever it is. But you can't speak on anything until you try it. What are you thankful for? Who are you thankful for in your life right now? Who am I thankful for? I am thankful for my support system, my small group. I don't have like a lot of friends, but the few that I do, like I feel like they're my backbone. They're for lifers. They're solid. I don't know what I would do without them because I'm I'm in LA and I'm alone. And like this little FaceTime call, a little visit, a little lunch, like really just brings me back to life. So for that small, like solid group of people, it's a, it's a mix of friends and family, but, like, you know who you are. And oh, yeah. that is who I am thankful for. I love that. Um, wow. Thank who you. are you guys thankful for now that I have you guys here? I'm thankful for the people that are thankful for me. <laughs> because if they're not thankful for me, then I'm not thankful for them. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, everyone here and then uh, my family. Yeah. yeah. Like my family. Everybody that has played a part in my life that is currently still in my life, that's what I'm thinking for. You know, can I also say, like, yes, because I feel like we hear that answer a lot of, like, oh, my my family, my friends, and this, this, yeah. and that. But you know who I'm also thankful for is the people on social media that I don't know that hype me up all the time. Mm. Like, the ones that I have constant messages with or comments, that I don't even know them. And they'll be hyping my stuff liking my stuff sometimes they'll, sharing. sometimes they'll root for you more exactly. than the people you know that's crazy right? y'all are the real ones yeah. it's like thank you for everything you guys do yeah. i appreciate my group of people but there's some people that i've never met before that i'm like wow girl yeah i i fuck with you even though i don't know you like yeah, yeah thank, little, thank you for showing me that love 
without even knowing exactly, exactly who we are. Like, I appreciate you, and I appreciate the little conversations, the yeah. little like, the shares, the Just comments. Because- you're take you're taking time out of your day to come and give me that energy. Exactly. I can't ask for more. And it's just, I say that because, like, I'm in the social media space. Like, I spend a lot of time on social media. Oh, no. A poco that, si a like, poco? little things like, hi. A poco, a poco yeah, si. Come a in chill, chill. <laughs> but it's true. Like, I, I feel like anyone who's on social media, they have people that it's like, yeah. I see you. Like, I see you and, and I you don't you. go unnoticed. Yeah. Nah, more, more than, most definitely. I'm appreciative of, I think we all are. We're appreciative of our day ones, our circle. And I appreciated of those people that have came into my life at the most random moment to just show me just a little bit of how great life is and how nice people could be. That's right. I don't ask for nothing more. I don't ask for nothing less. Le pido mucho a la vida, pero... Pero lo que me merezco, me merezco. <laughs> y si se viene, se viene. Y si es para mí, es para mí. <laughs> at the end of the day. Y si no, pues no. At pues no. The day will end. <laughs> And I'm another day will be that in my house. <laughs> We're gonna go get that shit tatted right now. <laughs> We're gonna go tatted right now. At the end of the day. <laughs> the end of the day. The, the day, day ends. ends. Somebody else. The day ends. <laughs> and then another one begins. Yeah. <laughs> Señorita, muchas gracias por venir. Darnos tu, tu tiempo, sharing with us a little piece of your life, your inspirations, your some of your business ideas, and what motivates you and how it keeps you going. I'm very appreciative of our relationship, our friendship that we have, and for now giving us this time to be able to put this on on camera. Podcasting is very easy. All you got to do is just put a camera in front and, and share it. But what is not easy is finding people with the same energy that you have, with the same goals, the same That's the mindset. That's the hard part. Yeah, this is it started off as for fun, but as I always say, this is just our internet diary for everybody else to see this amazing conversation and i hope one day it helps them in some sort of way inspires you to be like us or inspires you to not be like us <laughs> but i hope it inspires you and it, and it helps you guys in some some sort of way thank you for having me oh. i loved it i i was just like wow Wow, wow, it's my hey. turn. It's my turn. <laughs> She's like of flattered. Course. I'm flattered. flattered. She's no, like, no, we're not correr por eso. Of course, of course, everything you guys do. Like, I'm a huge Thank fan. You. So Thank I so see much. the hard work and I know the hard work that this all requires. So I I am flattered to be here. Thank you so much. And we're thankful. Me. We're Thank thankful you. for. Never mind, we're done. We're thankful, thankful for all the thankful, for all things. The thankful <laughs> things. Thankful for all the things. Damn. Thank you, guys. Thank you to our sponsor, Kanye Rombar, for allowing us to come and record here. So if you're in downtown LA, make sure you come. Ask for uh, Boricua with Tequila. That's the ATTI That's special. The ATTI not going to lie. Right. And shout out to all of you guys for watching, supporting, and for everybody that decided to get up and make something out of your life. So it's us alive, baby. You already know. Bye. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>